Hamilton's Guide to Depression because no matter how many John Green novels you read, you are still not going to get it. <laughs> One. Depressed and suicidal are not the same fucking thing. A depressed person can be suicidal, but not all people suffering from depression are going to off themselves the minute you give them a gun. If you are talking to someone who is depressed, do not assume they will attempt suicide or ever will. On the other hand, do not tell them they are going through a phase. Depression is not a phase, and suicide is not a destination too. There is more than just one kind of sadness. Some examples are anger, anxiety, avoidance, confusion, desperation, disgust, exhaustion, fear, negativity, numbness, shame, shock, and weakness. I'm sure you, socially acceptable, psychologically flawless, sane human being, have experienced none of these. Not all of these fit into the same category of sadness, and not all will be expressed in the same way. Recognize the distinction. Three, depression is not always reflected outwards. A parent's favorite card to play is outrage at self-harm, but when the scars are gone, so is their concern. A mind holds more bruises than a wrist, why don't you care about those? Burn marks can be spoken or on skin. Depression inflicts itself on its victims like ink blots on paper. Four. Never tell them it gets better. Do you own a time machine? Then fuck off, clairvoyant. You don't know if the future will be better until you get there. Depression does not mean gullible, and strength does not guarantee survival. But so many people love you. Do not validate their existence based on someone else's needs. You have a great life, why are you so sad? A good income does not equate a good life. Keep your lips sealed. Don't tell them the sun will come out tomorrow. Give them a flashlight to make it through the night. Five, if you want to help them, do it the right way. Don't showcase their sadness like a national anthem. Don't avoid it like national debt. Pick them up if they need it. Only pick them up if they need it. Don't treat them like they are lost when they are writing their own map. Because depression is not a cut you can neosporin and kiss. It is an illness you either beat or you die from. They have realized their humanity more than you ever will. They are fighting an uphill battle against average, against suffering, against every one of you seven billion who tell them that they can't. They can. Respect them. What?